Moshe Zonenstein was a rabbi's son who was very deeply educated in, in, uh, in, uh, in religious belief, into the belief that there are happening things on this world which are beyond his understanding and are will of the God. And I remember when we passed 10,000 naked women in a frosty morning who were already sorted out, you see, and put on the lorries. And they knew they were old prisoners already. And they knew that they are now going to the gas chamber. And they were quiet. And somehow people were accustomed to live with the moment, with the knowledge that the death will come. But when the motor started, you know, this noise, this created a panic between the women and a terrible noise went up from those lorries, you see, the death cry of, of thousand young women, you know, who were already reduced to skeletons, and their, uh, their, their, their futile attempts, which they knew by any logic that they can't succeed, to jump out from the, from the lorries, which takes them to the gas chambers, which are only perhaps less than a mile away, and which were already stoked, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, fire was coming out from the chimneys. This means everything was prepared. You see, this was a moment when he spoke to his God. God show them your power. This is against you. And nothing happened. And then he said, there is no God. 